Southgate has a very strong track record of success in the local community. It's been in operation since 1992. To me, what makes LifeGate unique is its highly focused vision and mission statement with the one central theme and goal, and, and that is to um, assist people, these people in need. But we're talking about homeless people, we're talking about people who are on drugs and alcohol, addictions, there's violence, there's crime. Unfortunately, uh, it has increased. I see firsthand a lot of the challenges in, in the Frankston area. I see the drug addictions, I see the alcohol addictions, I see the, the domestic violence. You know, I've, I've had to patch up a girl's face because of the number of times her boyfriend had smashed it in. Like, I've seen that stuff firsthand, but then even though I see it and I know there's a need, when I saw the, the stats for Frankston, it just blew my mind because, um, you know, when you're talking about things like domestic violence and disengaged youth, Frankston is the worst in the state for those. In those categories, they are more than double the second worst. There's such an urgent need for us to expand our resources and to expand our services, just to be able to, to reach more people, to, to cover more nights. To do all that stuff takes resources. LifeGate is heavily reliant on volunteers. Um, every dollar of donations is, is used um, in the best possible way. You know, I sometimes talk to, to businesses who kind of think, well, I love what you guys are doing, but how could how could I come on board? How could I be a part of that? And some of the corporate sponsors we've had and the, the ways that they've provided, you know, gifts for the, the at-risk youth we're working with or, um, you know, their, their expertise pro bono in, in um, areas that we lacked. You know, there's all sorts of different ways that, that um, people can help and people can just empower us to do what we're doing. A business looking to get involved in um, a community-based organisation such as LifeGate would love to hear from you.